Hey Kids hey. Church, hope you guys are doing good. We are starting a brand new series called Ask, Seek, Knock. It's gonna be an exciting one. So we thought, why don't we start off with some knock knock tricks? Hmm. Henry, do you have one? Knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo hoo. Don't be sad, it's just a joke. <laughs> okay, I got, I got one too. Mm. Knock knock. Who's there? Figs. Figs who? Figs your doorbell, it's broken. Oh boy. <laughs> That was a good one. It was. It, it was. was. Thank it was. you. I hope you guys found that funny. And I hope you guys stay tuned for some interesting stories on our new series, Ask, Seek, Knock. But for now, we're going to go and enjoy some praise and worship. Bye. I'm reading my B.I.B. early, and this is what it says to me. Tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S -S Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go! When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, knock, knock God opens up the door When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door oh, oh. I'm reading my B.I.B. early And this is what it says to me it tells me that I'm never, ever alone I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S Came down to us and gave his best Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know but Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go! When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, knock when you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door seek he's there when you knock 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 god opens up the door when you ask he cares when you seek he's there when you knock 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 god opens up the door I hope you guys are having the best day ever. This is teacher David and I'm teacher Mary mm -hmm. and we have prepared something awesome around your memory verse for this yep. theme, Ask, mm -hmm. Seek and Knock. How exciting. But before yeah. we get into singing the memory verse for you guys, mm. I'm going to read it for you. Yep. Okay, are you ready to hear it? Mm. Matthew 7 verse 7, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. 100%. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. 100%. That is so, so true. And we've got something special for you guys. 
We've changed the memory verse and turned it into a song. Ah! Are you ready? I'm so ready. I'm ready as well. Yes. Let's get into it. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, let's jam together. See if you can follow along with us. Okay, mm. let's go. And you will receive what you ask for. Yeah. Keep on seeking and you'll find. Keep on knocking and the door hey. will be open to you. So Matthew do. 7 verse 7. It's Matthew 7. Keep on hey. asking. Keep on seeking and you'll find Keep on knocking hey. and the door will be Breathing. open Woo! Keep on asking and you will receive What you ask for Keep on seeking and you'll find Keep on hey. knocking and the door will be open to you Come on! Yay. Good job, Teacher That's David! Good. Good job, Teacher Mary! Thank you, <laughs> and good job to you guys, because we are yeah. sure you nailed it on the first try. Yep. So keep on practicing, and then yeah. we're going to sing it with you guys next time, yeah. I rate. What do 100%. you think? Yeah, I'm going to join them, and I'm going to sing Matthew, mm. Matthew, yeah. <laughs> and I'll see you. Okay, 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 we're leaving. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Hello kids, it's teacher David here and we are glad to introduce you to the new series that we are jumping into. The name of the series is Ask. A stands for Ask. S stands for Seek. And K stands for Knock. In this series, we're going to be asking God for what we need because we know He will give it to us. It may not be right now, but He will give it to us. We're going to be seeking God's will. We're going to be seeking everything that he has in store for us. We're going to be seeking Jesus and getting to know God more. And lastly, we're going to knock. We're going to knock and the door will be open to us. The door to everything that God has prepared for us. Now, I've got a story for you guys that I'm really, really keen to jump into. But before we do that, I want to read our verse for this series. Our verse is Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. And it says, Keep on asking and you will receive what you have asked for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened to you. Alright, so for our first session, we're going to be talking about you asking God for what you need. You can ask God for whatever you need. And there's a story in the Bible that literally talks about this. Now, once upon a time, in a small village in Capernaum, there was a wedding that was happening. And Jesus' mother, Mary, Jesus himself, and his disciples were invited to that wedding. And they were having a good time and they were enjoying the, the wedding and the bridegroom and the bride were getting married and everything was amazing. Until something happened. The wine ran out. Now, I know none of you guys drink wine. You should not drink wine. So, as I'm telling you about the story, think of the wine as juice. The wine ran out. And... There was just a bit of confusion because, oh man, we're out of wine. So Jesus' mom, Mary, had an idea. And she decided, hmm, I wonder if Jesus can fix this situation. If he can fix and solve this problem. So she came to Jesus and she told Jesus, Jesus, there's no wine left. And Jesus just looked at her and was like, mm -mm, that's not my problem. It's not my time yet. But she continued asking. She was, here's a big word, 
persistent. She did not stop asking Jesus. And she told Jesus, we really need wine. And she said to the servants, you know what? Grab or do go to Jesus and listen to him and he'll tell you what you need to do. So now here's Jesus with the servants and Mary has told the servants, stay with him because he's going to tell you what you need to do. So Jesus thought about it for a second and he saw six stone jars, really big jars, really, really big, used for water. And he told the servants, you know what? Go and fill these jars, each and every one of them, with water. Now these jars are really heavy, stone jars. And the servants took them and they filled them with water and brought them back to Jesus. Full of water, not wine. But anyway, Jesus told the servant, okay, now pour some out and take it to the master of ceremonies, practically the party organizer, the, 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 the man who had the mic, the microphone. And they took the wine to the master of ceremonies and he tasted the wine. Now, this is the thing. They took the water to the master of ceremonies, but as he drank it, it changed to wine. And when he tasted it, it was no longer water. It was really, really good tasting wine. And he was shocked. Actually, he was so surprised that he called the bridegroom the husband to be. And he asked him, hmm, I've been to a lot of weddings, but usually at the wedding, they bring the best wine out first. And then when people are enjoying and the party has gone on for long enough, then they bring the, the less expensive wine. But surprisingly, the bridegroom has saved the best wine for last. Here's the thing. None of them knew that the wine came from Jesus, but the servants knew. So, there's a couple of things that I want you to note from the story. Number one, Jesus' mother, Mary, did not ask once. Remember our big word earlier? She was persistent. And most of the time when we need something, we need to be persistent in our asking. We need to continue asking. That's what persistent means. You have to be be very, very strong and straightforward in your asking. And you need to do it over and over and over again. And when Jesus heard this from his mom, he had no choice but to answer the need. So that's number one. Number two. Now you guys can note that before the miracle happened, before the water turned to wine, there was something that needed to be done. The servants had to pick up six large jars and go and fill them with water. Now see the need. They needed wine at the party. But the servants went and they got water. And from the water came the wine that they need. Now here's the point. There are things that you need to do in order to prepare for the answer of your need, the answer of your prayer. You need to do some things. Say you're praying to God and you're asking him for more stationery and for new pens and new colors and everything. Well, there's something you can do. You can keep your pencil case clean. You can keep your bag clean as you wait and you pray to God to answer your need. All right? Number three, you need to be obedient as you wait. Now, Jesus told the servants to firstly fill the jars with water. And then after carrying those heavy jars for so long, he told them to take the water to the master of ceremony so that he could taste. But the servants were obedient each and every step of the way. And we need to be obedient also. The Bible says that we have to obey our parents. We have to respect everyone. We have to love one another. So if you are asking God for something that you really need, it doesn't help if you're not listening to your parents and you are not lo loving your friends and you're not respectful to anyone. But you need to live in, here's another big word, obedience. You need to do what the Bible says as you wait. 
for God to answer your prayer. The master of ceremonies, the, the party organizer, and the husband-to-be, as soon as they tasted the wine, they were so thankful for the amazing wine that they had to taste. And this is something we can learn as well. Before God answers your prayers, you need to be thankful for what you already have. As we said earlier, if you're praying to God for more colors so that you can make your work look very, very nice and beautiful, you've got to clean your pencil case. But you also have to be thankful for what you have. You have a pencil case waiting for your colors. You have a beautiful family around you. You have wonderful friends and you have an amazing church. These are things that you can be thankful for as you wait for God to answer your need. And when God answers your need, you need to be grateful for what he has given you. It's not an opportunity to now be like, oh, I finally got what I need. Let me go and do my own thing. But you have to be grateful to God because he has given you what you needed. Now, as Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 says, Ask and you will receive what you ask for. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. We need to ask God continuously. We need to be persistent. We need to prepare for the answer that God has for us. And we need to be thankful before he answers and after he answers. Now, next week, we're going to jump into session two. And I hope you're ready for that. But for now, I have to say goodbye. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to our activity for this week. Today, we're going to be doing a fill the bucket relay race. We have Spiwe and Miguel on team one and Nene and Gabby on team two. The aim of the game is to fill the bucket with the most water. One team player will fill the cup with water while the other team player runs back and forth to collect water and pour it in the bucket. They will then swap so the other team player can also get a turn to run back and forth to fill the bucket. They have one minute to fill their buckets and at the end we will compare the two buckets and see which team collected the most water. It looks like both teams are doing pretty well. It might just be a close call, but let's see whose bucket will be filled with the most water. Okay, now it's time to look at the two buckets and see who filled their buckets with the most water. It looks like team two, Gabby and Nene, have won. Well done, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's activity. Until next time, goodbye.